What's up, everybody? It is your boy Lonnie Hunter right here on the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. And as you know, family season one, we had a full on studio audience. It was crazy. It was bananas. And then COVID hit. But uh, we're not stopping. I'm telling you right now, this season is going to be one of the best seasons you've seen because everybody's zooming, everybody's at home, everybody's comfortable. And this show has two of the craziest lunatic guests. Boy, these are my friends for real. Uh, up first is Todd Delaney. What's up, boy? What's up, my brother? What's going down? How you feeling, man? Oh man, I feel great, man. I'm comfortable. I'm relaxed, like you said, and um, navigating this new space called COVID-19 pandemic and, and, and still winning, man. I see your 12,000 square feet house behind you. It's beautiful. <laughs> hey, God, God, this, this is your great name. I call this house your great name. You is that what bought it? <laughs> I love it. And as you can see, my other guest is nothing short of an icon. We got to talk about that word, but you, you cannot talk about gospel music without mentioning Vanessa Bell Armstrong. What's up, beautiful? Hey, baby. It's all about you. Oh, she's so cool. It ought to be a law. It ought to be a law. Vanessa, you know we love you. Of course, when I called and asked you what you would do, what you do the show, immediately you said yes. And I'm telling you, to have an icon like you, not only in, in my phone to be able to call, but you answer and you call back, it's a whole nother story. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I appreciate you. How are things going uh, for you during this season? Oh, it's going great. Matter of fact, God is just really showing himself. Uh, he, he's just showing how great he really is. Okay, because yeah. anytime you can shut down the whole world like a little town, mm, <laughs> I'm through with that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, I want to talk about Vanessa, but I want to talk to Todd about Vanessa. Todd, when we talk about um, icon and we talk about signature voices and we talk about uh, people who have just kind of paved the way. I know Vanessa is one of the people for you who did it. What, what, what about her career inspired you to either keep going or to get started or not give up? What do you thought? What are you thinking? So a lot of people don't know. Um, well, for those people that don't know, I came up under Pastor Smokey Norfolk. He was my mentor. And, and for him vocally, his, his standard was Vanessa Bell Armstrong. And, and so everything that I learned from him, he learned from her, and it just, it, it continues to go on. People don't understand that, you know, you don't get the nows without the befores, you know what I mean? It's you don't generational. Get that, yeah, you yeah. don't get those shoulders. And so um, I, I actually really, really started to listen to um, Vanessa Bell Armstrong because um, Pastor Smokey Norfolk was really like, hey, you got to study this voice. This is the voice that really helped me become what I am. And I began to study that voice, like listen, going back in time to where I was a kid and, and playing baseball that I wasn't really listening to gospel music. I said, man, this lady can sing and then still can sing today. Yeah. Like, yeah. She ain't, she ain't lost nothing, Doc. Not she ain't time. lost nothing. While we're talking about it like she's not here, right? Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, you know, we have um, a style of singing that I attribute to you. Before yeah. you came along, people were not doing runs. They were not. I mean, we would do a run every now and again, but you were a signature to what a run is and how you can flip and turn a phrase. And uh, then we got your, your Kimber Rails and we got your Lucretia yep. Campbells and all of that right, coming right. along after you. How do you feel about or did you even know that you were as unique as you were when you were doing this? No, I, I really and still don't. I mean, it's like, wow, it's it's all. Ooh, it's just amazing to me because uh, I just was talking to one of the church mothers of the uh, uh, pastor, and I was little. Uh, she said I was like maybe seven, and she said uh, when I got through singing, I would come sit in, back and sit between my mama and her, and I would ask her and my mother, why are they acting like this? <laughs> I, I, I just sang, you know. So right. it's, it's never been like uh, <laughs> some of the stuff that I've seen out here lately where they just, it's all about them, 
You know what I'm saying? It's what they can do is if it was never like that. It was just that I was ordained to do this. Yeah. I love doing it. Uh, it was in me. I enjoyed doing it. I didn't want no money. But that's changed. Wow. But anyway, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that has changed. <laughs> but, Come on, lift your hands. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 be honest before the Lord. Hallelujah. That's the truth. But, no, but seriously, I, I, I knew it wasn't a, a job. It, it was a pleasure. Now it's turned into something completely different. And I, I don't have as much joy and pleasure as I had back when, I, as I was growing up, singing, you know, and doing the runs. I didn't even know I was doing runs. I mean, I used uh -huh. to listen to Aretha. I, I listened to Mahalia Jackson. I listened to Maddie Clark because her daughters were singing then. Right. Twinkie was playing the organ for the choir. But I led two songs on every album that Maddie did. I think I did like three or four of them. And that was a given something... I don't know. God must have endowed it down in me to do. That's what I felt. Like he looked beyond my thoughts and saw my knees. That's the old Danny boy. But the way I heard it, it was like more of a blues. It, amazing. And, and Rudy just grabbed it and we, we recorded it, you know. Now, let me tell you this. You don't start no song and give us five seconds of it. Uh, okay, this is what I, I want you to understand. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're not going to do is tease the people because I was ready to go in off up. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Todd, I'm glad she said that because you are a part of the new era. Yeah. And, um, and Vanessa mentioned how things have changed over the years and a lot yeah. of what we see now is more performance-based than it is anointing-based. Yeah. But, but, but when I'm on tour with you, when I'm, when I'm with you and you're, you're doing your live joint, mm -hmm. That's not the, the case for you, yeah, but no. it is the case for a lot of people around you. Yeah. How do you navigate in that space? You know, um, I, I, I didn't really grow up churched, and that, I think that was the benefit for me because I didn't grow up and get a chance to really become common with God. Like, I think a lot, yeah. of, you know, a lot of people that we see now are, they grew up church. They grew up yeah. just around the church, and so it just was a church thing as opposed to, when I got saved after baseball, it was like, <clears throat> I'm going to take this serious because he could he could strike me down. I, I, yeah. I like really believe in who he is. And so I don't play games with him at all. And so yeah. um, and I think that's kind of the place where we, we're missing at my generation. The reverence for God is completely gone. And that's why people will say things that they don't have any business because there is no fear. You know what I mean? You can see people on Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, people run their mouths about the church. That's God's bride. I'm, I, yeah. You come talking about my bride if you want to, it's going to be some smoke. You hear me? So I, mean, <laughs> I don't, I, I'm very cautious about how I talk about God's bride. I'm very cautious about how I handle God's business. And so I think that's the way I navigate that whole yeah. thing because I'm like, this ain't a game, you know, even yeah. though, yeah, like, like, um, um, Vanessa said, we get paid to do this, but this is God's business and That's I don't right. play games with his business, um, That's because right. I know who he is. Yeah. Have you ever, um, been in a situation and this question is for both of you because you have, uh, songs out now that people like to sing. Have you ever been in a place to where, and Vanessa, I'll let you answer first that somebody got up and sang a Vanessa Bell Armstrong song and they couldn't quite, you know, pull that joint off. <laughs> oh yeah, plenty. But of there you sit. What yeah. do you do? There you sit. What you gonna do? I, I can't do nothing but smile or yeah, frown. Or, no, I'm just kidding. The, that happened to me. It always happened to me. Matter of fact, matter, ooh, when I used to go to the, uh, to the uh, Memphis meeting in Memphis uh, for the the midnight service oh, they've they been in song my song i don't know how many times before i even get up to try to sing it myself i was like oh, <laughs> okay well what are we gonna do i i'm so <laughs> glad that god gave me more than just one hit you know what i'm saying he, yeah I, they were coming back to back to back and and folks mm. are still requesting songs that i can't even i'm gonna have to go back in the studio look like and and put music to because they like the new but the old is what made them fall in love Absolutely. with me and fall in love with God and, and have yeah. a real true walk with God. And they Absolutely. love that. That's their foundation. And one of the things that, um, that Todd, you brought into the picture was the whole praise team 
background yeah. singers kind of look. <laughs> so instead of a soloist singing her stuff, you have uh, both the front person singing you, and then you got to listen to the background singers yeah. who should probably be further back than they are. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> they really shouldn't be that close to a mic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What do you do in that case, man? What is, what is your look on your face? Because I know your face. You know, um, <laughs> this, I, think, I think the hardest part about it is is that, like like Vanessa said, is that we got to sing the song. Like, why, why, why even choose to sing the song when I'm here? That, you know, mm -hmm. like, like, that's one of the hardest things. It's like, I'm going to sing my song. Can you right. sing something else tonight? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I, never, I never understand that. Like, I, I look up there and I, like you said, I can't control my face. If you strike up and sing a song and you know I'm here tonight, I'm looking like, bro, you know I'm going to sing that song. Why you sing that song? Right. Let right. me say this right. to you, Todd, because it's just, it's just not in your face. You will get up in the mic and <laughs> ask right. the question. Why you just sing all my? <laughs> because the Lord is still working on me, Lonnie. He's right, <laughs> right. Yeah, now, right. Vanessa, I'm gonna tell you something. Years ago, I um, was in a, a production, a play, and I can't remember the name of the play, but I got the part of of the husband. Right, I didn't know who else was in the play. They brought me to a rehearsal, and they said we're gonna introduce you to your wife. I said okay. You walked, walked out. out. <laughs> All I could think was, don't ask me to sing no duets with this woman. <laughs> if, right. if, this is, if, if God is in this play at all, we're going to be divorced and in two different houses because I don't want to. <laughs> and when I tell you, you made me feel so comfortable wow. just being who I, I was very young in, in, the, in the whole industry thing. So I really wasn't sure of who I was vocally and all that kind of stuff. The stuff you taught me, wow. yeah, I still hold with me today about being me in spite of who was around me. Wow. And I just want to thank you for that. Wow. You're more than welcome, honey. I love you. Yeah. Mm. I love you too, mama. Listen, you all stay close to the Lonnie Hunter Show. We are coming right back and uh, we're going to play a little game with these two. And it's, I promise you, it's going to be bananas. Stay close. It's the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. To improve, to impact, to inspire. It's not what I do, but merely who I am, who I'm called to be. I am William A. Brown Sr., overseer and founder of Emmanuel Christian Center of Philadelphia and Los Angeles, California. I'm also an author to the nations, and one of my favorite quotes from my book, The Life Changers Quotes for Life, is leadership is not about control. It's about empowering others to take control of their choices. As overseer of Emmanuel Christian Center of Philadelphia and Los Angeles, I invite you to a place of love and no judgment, for we are the church. We are here to repair the breach, for we are the community who are assigned to build communities and become an impact in individual spiritual and natural lives. Visit us, www.EmmanuelChristianCenterInc.com and on Instagram at Emmanuel Christ Inc. I love you all to life and I'll see you soon. All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen, with my friends Vanessa Bell Armstrong and Todd Delaney talking about things that, that people really don't get to hear us talk like we talk on the telephone. Uh, a lot of times you see people do interviews and you have an interview voice, you have an interview personality, and then you have a personality where you can just kind of let your guard down and can just kind of talk. And that's what the show is all about, just kind of giving you an, an, an off the scene look of some of your favorite gospel artists. And um, we got two of the best on the show right now. And I wanna talk about this whole pandemic thing where people thought they were being shut down, um, the ideas stopped flowing, and we had to really get creative on how to continue to be forward, move forward motion in this thing and still get it done. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Vanessa, I went to um, Instagram one day and you were on Instagram Live, just singing your hits. And I looked at you and I said, you know what? She is still not only relevant, but she is still understanding what it takes 
to get people to, to God, because it just because you can't get to me in a public setting doesn't mean I can't bring what God has given me to you. What made you want to do that? Actually, I didn't really want to do it. it, it <laughs> you know, it's so funny how the things that you or the people that don't really want that's who God look like chooses to 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 take the forefront you know what I'm saying and I, I figure like since I've been out there so long and everything they know me I, it's my time is up all that then I, I but I, I felt in my spirit uh, I needed to do something but I didn't and then I, I had a, a a man of God that wrong my number and uh, he never calls until it's something that God has put on his heart to tell me that I needed to listen to. And he said, uh, lady of God, he said, you are anointed and you're still anointed. And just like this pandemic is, is, is in the air. He said, you need to put your anointing in the air. He said, you need to stay relevant. You need to stay on that. He said, if you don't do nothing but on a every Wednesday night, get on here. And when you sing, it's gonna it's gonna help bless people, save people, still heal them, and what have you. And I I didn't think of it. He said you, it's like putting the anointing in the atmosphere. And Jesus. I said okay. So he said so do it. And I kept saying, Are you sure this is the Lord? And, but I knew anyway. But I kept saying, Are you sure you just want me to do this? And he said, Have I? I've never came to you. Oh, he rebuked me. But I said okay, yes, Lord. So I I got I got it together and. Uh, because I've never wanted to do what others did. I always just Come wanted on. to be. Come I on. wanted to be different. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 thank you, and I and I thank Orange. God that I obeyed because I even I wasn't even asking for the the the, uh, the money and stuff. But folks started just kept texting me and saying, well, "We just we you blessed us, so we want to bless you." And I kept so saying, good. "I said, oh God, but then it's gonna look like I'm doing it for money." And then they said, "No, just you don't even put up." Uh, uh, put a uh, 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 what a dollar sign on it. Just say yeah. you know if, if you want to. This people is can my discern your spirit, cash. right? And yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, it went up to like got to tell all my business two thousand dollars in one in like five minutes. I mean, it was just like people was just some get sent the dollars, some sent five dollars, some sent a hundred dollars, wow. some sent five hundred. They Amen. was just, and I was like, okay, God, you have you have put your approval. Uh, and know that I'm not just out here for to just make money. I'm out here because you chose me and my mother's yes, room to do this. And, and that's what I'm going to do until I die. You know. Well, I'm going to tell you this. You just said two thousand dollars in five minutes. I see people running to their screens right now to just sing a song. <laughs> Whether they can sing or not, they just running straight to the screen. Oh God! And be like, no, ma'am, that ain't getting you but five nothings. <laughs> And Todd, one of the things that you did, well, one of the things we did together was the McDonald's tour during this, during this season that has been incredible. But you took that to another level and you did an outdoor event that um, had ticket sales and all of that kind of stuff. But you really were able to connect with people on a whole nother level from their cars, man. What was that like? Now, like Lonnie, that, that was, um, I think that was the most, uh, most faith that I've ever used with my own money. You know what I mean? Like uh, mm -hmm. I had to, you know, put a lot of, a lot into it and, you know, at first get the approval from my wife so I can put a lot into it. Right. So, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. I can actually do it. So we built a stage in the middle of nowhere. Um, wow. it just, you know, I mean a massive stage, massive lighting. I wanted to do it like it was like praise in the park. So we made it really big and we ticketed the event. We packed the, um, the lot out with cars and then we sold online tickets as well. So, I mean, I'm wow. just like, I just, yeah. just, Vanessa said something that just hit me right in the face. She said, I never wanted to do things that everybody else was doing. That, that was okay. like right away. I said, That's how it, can right. I reach the people and not be common and not yeah. be what they're used That's to? That's right. And yeah. so, yeah. Um, man, I mean, they jumped out, came out. Now I'm, I'm planning another one. Um, I'm planning another one. I, I haven't even announced it yet, but Dallas is going to be our next stop um, because um, yeah. it's warm. It was a little cold in Chicago. Um, I was like, <laughs> it, you know, it was, it, it was, yeah, it was, it was so much fun. Yeah, it, it was so much fun. And, um, man, I'm telling you, 
when you use your faith, it, it, it does nothing but grow your faith. And so my yes, faith has, has become a monster oh, now yeah. after that event. So that's a debut you announcement, Doc? The first time it's ever been on air right here on the live first show? Time, right, yeah, right, right here in Dallas. Yes. Don't, just, Dallas. don't just skate over that. Don't skate over the scoop, baby. Don't skate <laughs> over the scoop. <laughs> Absolutely, my guy. Absolutely. Con congratulations, man. Thanks. Well, that's listen, great. I want to play a game. It's uh -huh. called Clues and Categories. Okay. All, All you have, have to do is hear me ask the question. And the first person with the answer that says the answer out loud gets that question. All right. Oh man! Now uh, through the whole season, we I will pull all the winners that have won on that show, and we're gonna do a clues and category test uh, um, uh, tournament at the end of the season, and then we'll give uh, say about a five thousand dollars check to your favorite charity. Mm. Oh, oh my own charity. Yeah, my own. My own. You know, what? <laughs> so. Y'all ready? Let's do it. I'm going to ask the question. If you know the answer, shout it out. Okay. All right. Question one. How many books in the Bible? <laughs> Vanessa, you got it. Uh-uh. You got it, Vanessa. I get nervous. Ah! <laughs> hey, how many books is in the Bible? Look, I don't want to say the wrong answer. Me, I, I don't know. Uh, you know what? You I'm gonna have to go better than I'm a buzz book, y'all. Sixty-six. Sixty-six. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say what? sixty-six. <laughs> I was gonna say sixty-six. But let me just tell you this, Lonnie. Let me tell you this. What? I'm not. I'm not gonna participate too well in this. You know why? You doing what I used to do in, uh, when we was in school, and the teacher used to ask questions, but I didn't want to be. I knew the answer, but I didn't want to be wrong, so I never played games no. like this. So you got the wrong person. <laughs> okay, so it's watch all, this. It's all on him. Watch this. Watch this. If I am in the Hartsfield, Hartsfield Airport, Airport, what city, city am I in? Atlanta. Atlanta. Let's go, baby. All right. <laughs> Uh, who, no, what is the deacon's last name on the TV show, Amen? Oh, gosh. Which, he Vanessa, you sang the theme song to. Fry, I don't know. Fry, yeah, yeah. Fry. Oh, yeah. you got That's it. it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm oh, like, no. Vanessa don't get this one, and she is the singer of the theme song of the dog on the song. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Which a lot of people don't know, Vanessa. Turn on the light. Right. Oh my goodness. Last That's year. Right. Did you know that Todd? Did you know she was singing that? No, I did not. You didn't. I didn't. Legendary. I mean, your discography, I knew it was long, but my God. You know what? Uh, yeah, that was <laughs> that was me. They thought it was one of the, the, the actress, one of the heavy set ladies on there. And she's taking all the credit, but she, but you can't take the credit when it rolled. You see my name. <laughs> 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 That's right. I was gonna say she can't go to my my bank. Oh, you gotta go take that check out that mailbox now. <laughs> uh, sing a little bit of Vanessa. Turn on the light from heaven, light shine on me. Jeez. Turn on the light from heaven. Oh, okay, that's enough. Oh my God! Show over. <laughs> you know yeah, what, Tyler, what, what I want you to do. What I want you to do is, is go, go to your, your Xfinity remote and tie and talk into it and say, "Show me, Amen." Oh and my you goodness! Hear it, when you hear that intro, bro, I'm telling you, there is no theme show out today, Man. no sitcom out today that has that, that kind, kind of power that, that she put on, on Amen. She just okay. did that like that was nothing. It was effortless. It was effortless. Now, let me tell you, Todd, what I'm excited about. What? When I called Vanessa to do the show, I said, Vanessa, you're going to be on with another artist so we can make kind of a family thing. She's like, well, who's going to be it? Who is it going to be? I said, you're going to be on with Todd Lane. She was like, oh, Lord, yes. Yes. <laughs> now, that's heavy right there. Now, that is heavy. Ain't that heavy that you should know that? Man, I, I think, look. Cause I, she don't know. I don't think she know, but I look way, way up to her. Way oh, up. Oh, thank you. Way. I love yep. you. I love yeah, you. I love your I love song, you. honey. Listen, I, I cried <laughs> when I heard, I hear your song. Wow. I mean, seriously. Wow. You, you bless me. <laughs> yeah, this is so. Listen, 
tag your your Instagram, Facebook, and all that as well. Absolutely. Um. So the the best way is ToddDelaneyLand.com. Todd Delaney Land dot com. Your name is Delaney. Did you like the the bishop that just died? What's his name? Delaney? Oh no! Well, it was. Uh -uh. Oh no! Uh uh no no it wasn't no way. I'm oh, sorry. I was about to call my family, but that's what I'm about to call him. Did we have a bishop die? No no no, Bishop <laughs> Ellis. I thought his. Oh, uh, yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, now, Vanessa, what's what's your Instagram? Oh child, you ask me questions that I don't know. Vanessa Bell Armstrong. Uh, that's all I know. Right. Yeah, I, I sent y'all the things. Look, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. you sound like Shirley Caesar. I was with Shirley Caesar, and she got up and she said, "I want y'all to write me and tell me how you feel about this concert." And somebody asked her from the audience. She said, "Well, what's your address?" She said, "Just send it to South Carolina and put Shirley Caesar on it to get to me." Now you know you got juice. If all you need is your name. Wow. <laughs> so just send it to Detroit and put Vanessa on it and then he'll get to it. <laughs> come to me. That's right. It sure will. Because I don't know nothing about that. I'm just, I, I stay on it because I, I, try, I love what y'all be doing. I love you. You know, I, everything Aww. you do, I just, I just push that, that red thing. That, and that, that's you. The red thing. But I, the it's light hard. Light. <laughs> no. But, but. Uh, my kids, my grandkids, you know, I got 12 and then my grandkids and then I got a great grand that I, that's going to keep me if I'm still here up on all this stuff. Because really, I'm this is my, my grandbaby, Gracie, that can really sing. She said all of my kids can sing, though, but she got that. I think she's got the, 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 the metal. She, she's getting ready to run with it. Wow. And she wow. she said. I was trying to do something with the remote control thing, and I couldn't under She said, Nana, it's our time now. It's okay. Right, right, right. Just sit back and let us take care of you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Todd Delaney, Vanessa Bell Armstrong, I want to thank you all for joining me on the show, and I'm telling you, nobody can do it like you can. So thank you for joining me, y'all. I love y'all for real. I wish I could, but I just don't know how. I don't have the time. I don't have enough technical knowledge to pull this off. I'm too young. No one will listen to me. So what's really holding you back? What if you could create the life you imagine no matter the circumstance or what others think? What if you could move the fear or use it. The choice is yours. Change your thinking, <laughs> you change your life. So if you're willing to take a risk on you to give up something so you can go up, follow me on social media with hundreds of like-minded people becoming the best that they can be. After all, we came to shape the future. Take care.